Yes, boys, welcome back to this brand new FIFA 19 Ultimate Team player review slash is this player worth it type video. I literally just made a video on this flashback David Villa, so if that's something you want to see, definitely go ahead and check that out. I've also made a video on Juan Mata the other day. I make the videos on pretty much all of them, but this video, of course, is going to be on foot birthday, Timo Werner. He looks like an insane card. His position changed to right wing from striker, of course. But he looks like he could easily play right wing. He's 5 foot 11 and he's 98 pace, 97 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. So he looks like he's going to be a perfect right wing anyway. And obviously, he's going to be quite hard to link because there ain't many German strikers that are very good in the game. He's like the only one. But it doesn't matter too much, of course, because you can still link him into a team somehow. For example, I've got Prime Icon Balak, so I could complete his FBC and put Werner in at right wing, and it would end up working because he would get a strong link. But jumping into this SBC, we're going to check the requirements shortly after reviewing the actual card itself. But EA have dropped a madness for foot birthday. I do have a pack to open, so definitely stay until the end of the video for where I do open that pack. But he has 89 jumping, 95 stamina, 67 strength, and 72 aggression. So he's quite a weak player, of course, but the pace kind of makes up for it. 97 acceleration, 97 sprint speed, obviously. So he's extremely quick. It doesn't matter too much the fact that he's got quite poor strength. Um, his jumping's great, obviously, and he is 5 foot 11. He's got good heading accuracy. His physicality stats overall are very good, so he's going to be winning headers for you. And he is going to be very good in the air. His aggression ain't the greatest, obviously, but 95 stamina is so important. He's going to be running full, full, full on all game, literally. He's not going to stop running for you, and that's so good to have with a player in your team. Um, as you can see here as well, 87 agility, so he isn't the most agile player in the world. Um, obviously, 87 isn't amazing for a player like this, especially a player that has 97 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. You expect him to have way more agility. But again, 87 agility isn't bad. I'm not saying that. It definitely is very good. 82 balance, 93 reactions, 91 ball control, 90 dribbling, and 80 composure. So overall, his dribbling stats, as as expected, are very good and the very the very usable. Obviously, is a very usable card. It's what you get with a 91 rated card. And EA kind of are going all over the place with these cards because they've just released the Zlatan centre back cards, stuff like that. It's crazy. Uh, they've got 77 vision on this card, so the passing stats overall do look very good. 77 vision, 87 crossing. So it's important that he does have good crossing if you're playing him as a right winger. But obviously, I'm pretty sure most of you will start him at right wing and then just change it in game and put him up front or at cam or wherever you want to play him. Uh, he's got 71 free kick accuracy, 97 short passing. Again, very important, the fact that he can cross and he's got a great short passing. It's always good to have a player that has good passing. He's only got 69 at long pass, which is fairly poor, but long pass ain't the end of the world because as long as he can cross and he's got the short pass, it genuinely doesn't matter too much at all. Um, 69 long pass and 78 curve. Fairly poor, obviously, with the long pass and the curve, but it doesn't matter too much. They're not the most important stats in the world. But onto the key stats for this card, obviously the shooting and the pace. He's got 97 attack positioning, 99 finishing, so he's going to finish everything for you. Genuinely incredible, it really is. Um, 85 at shot power, 77 long shots, 94 volleys, so... What a card, honestly. The shooting and the pace is incredible on this card. He's got 82 penalties. Doesn't matter too much, but you can take penalties. And then 97 acceleration, 97 sprint speed, as we've already said. He's right-footed, high-medium, so he could play at cam if you wanted him to play there. He's more of a striker, obviously, so I recommend you to play him there. Uh, he is right-footed. I recommend you put a hunter on him or a hawk just to boost the shooting and may as well get the extra bit of pace out of him or go down the dribbling and passing route, maybe increase that from a card. He has four-star weak foot, which is good, obviously. It's not five, but it doesn't matter too much. It's four-star weak foot. It's good enough. Three-star skill moves, obviously, that always has been a problem with this card for me. It's so much better to have players with skills. I just I have to have a player that has skills, personally, in my opinion, because I'm quite a bit of a skiller. Um, but as you can see here as well, he does have 85 overall rating for this squad, and you need... It's going to be quite expensive to complete, but it's a 91 rated card that's very good. Let me know in the comment section if it is worth it. I'm going to give my answer, obviously, very shortly. We're going to be taking a look at the actual SBC now. Uh, you need a live pig, a live Leipzig. I can't, I can't pronounce it. Sorry. Definitely drop a comment down below. How do you pronounce that name? I'm really not too sure. Um, but obviously, it is the team that um, what's his name? Werner does play for. 
So you're going to need a player from this team that's fairly high rated to do the SBC. So literally anyone, let's just say we throw Werner in the 84 rated one. Um, not that expensive, can easily throw him in. You just need an 85 rated squad around this, which is about usually about 90 to 100k, maybe a little bit more than that. It's fairly expensive, but you get 45k back in return. You're spending about 100k for this one. Is this one worth it? Obviously, you will decide overall. If you can get this SBC for about 300 to 400k, in my opinion, it probably is worth it. Because it's a 91 rated Timo Werner. If he was on the market, I'm pretty sure he would be selling for that or maybe even a bit more than that but jumping on to the next one here Bundesliga as you can see you need three Bundesliga players minimum an inform and an 86 rated squad so this one's way more expensive it's gonna cost you around 180k in my opinion just simply because 86 rated squad costs a hell of a lot of coins anyway you're gonna need a fairly high rated inform as well so literally you can build it you need to build it around Bundesliga you are gonna get a jumbo premium gold players pack which is fairly poor I'm not gonna lie for a reward considering you're doing an 86 rated squad it is a bit of a joke that I'm not gonna lie but oh well well, you're going to need three Bundesliga players, so literally any Bundesliga players you do have in your club, just throw them in. So let's say I throw these three in, um, they all play, they all get good links, so it works out quite well. Obviously, yeah, I'll do that, let's just say I do that, do that. Um, I need an inform player as well, so literally any inform you do have in your club. I don't have one from the Bundesliga, but obviously I do have a few in my club. So you literally throw them into the SBC and build it from there. You're going to need a fairly high rated squad. Keep in mind, it needs to be 86 rated overall. So keep that in mind when you are completing the SBC. And from here, build an 86 rated squad. It's fairly expensive, like I say. It's going to cost you about 280k altogether with them two SBCs. And then to the final one here, it's another 86 rated squad. You're going to get a rare mega pack in return for completing it. You need to have two German players in this squad, another inform and an 86 rated squad. So literally any Germans that you've got in your club, it genuinely doesn't matter or people that you're going to buy off the market. So let's say I've got a few reds here. Let's say I didn't use him for the last SBC. I could throw these two in and build the squad from here. I'm going to need an inform as well, though. So again, just buy an inform off the market. 86 rated squad. Again, it's going to cost you quite a bit of coins. Overall, this SBC is going to cost you about 450k, I'm pretty sure. Definitely do check footbin out, because that's going to be way more accurate than what I'm saying. I'm not too sure 100% on which one is the cheapest, stuff like that. So definitely do go ahead. Uh, and check footbin for the actual price of the SBC. That's the best thing to do. But is it worth it, in my opinion? If you can get it for about 400k, you get a few packs in return. It probably is worth it. Personally, in my opinion, it's a lot of coins to put into an SBC. When foot birthday, it's the first day. There's way more SBCs to come out. So don't jump into this SBC straight away. There's obviously going to be more to come. And don't just throw all your coins into this SBC if you know that you're going to want to complete future SBCs during foot birthday but that's been it on Timo Werner I really hope you have enjoyed it I did make a video on flashback David Villa like I said but let me know in the comment section down below do you think this SBC is worth it thanks for all support on the videos recently it genuinely means a lot thank you all so much I'm going to make a video now on this Steven Gerrard that did get released we're going to see if he's worth it or not a full video on that so if that's something you do want to see definitely stay tuned to the channel subscribe if you are new around here I'm going to be making a video on this Gerrard amazing amazing card I'm gonna end the video on the free pack that EA have decided to give out I don't know what I did get let's have a look I did get a rare mega pack again so we'll open it to end the video but I really do hope this has helped you out and you have enjoyed it I'm not gonna get a walkout in the rare mega pack I'm not even gonna get a board so happy foot birthday to me been playing since FIFA 06 07 something like that and I get gifted with a load of rubbish and it's untradeable so that's EA for you at the end of the day, but it doesn't matter to you much. I really hope this video has helped you out and you did enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, that's been it on this on this uh, Timo Werner foot birthday card. Like I said, let me know. Do you think it's worth it or not? That's been it. Peace out.